Hey, welcome to another Alpha Magnus review. Uh, today we've got this little guy. This is, uh, randomly was walking through Ross and found one for set eight bucks there, seven ninety nine. Um, wasn't even looking for this, but, uh, I do have the Captain America and quite a bit of the flight pack now, so now I'm just gonna hunt down the other parts that I have. Uh, I know I have Baron Zemo's. I believe I have the other side. I have two Baron Zemos, so I could probably just flip that. I don't, they might be specific. I don't know. Um, but now I'll have this. I don't have a, a Loki and I don't have a Scarlet Witch, but I think I got everybody else. Um, I just ordered him from uh, Big Bad Toy Store. So there's a the Wonder Soldier. I just ordered that from Big BBTS. So hopefully that will uh, work. Um, this is the uh wandavision version if you have not watched that spoilers the vision comes back to white um which is from the comics i believe uh this is gonna be a twofer because i do have another um random pickup as well back from a ross i was actually hoping because um all of my I had a bunch of stuff get canceled, um, pre-orders from Walmart. And usually what happens is within a month or so of that happening, they appear at Ross. So I've just been checking the Ross stores when I pass them. Cut this crap out. Uh, all right, so here's um, El Vision. Um, it's an okay figure, but like I've been getting a lot of these white figures, and he's already kind of yellow. Um, <laughs> I got him mostly uh, in case I wanted to make like a, a custom from it, because that's what I do now. I just make Marvel customs instead of a uh, Transformer ones like I used to. This is interesting, though. He's got a very floppy, um, I wouldn't say very floppy, but a floppy um, clear cape. I don't even remember that from the show. It might have been on there. <laughs> yeah, what what the heck is this? What are you doing there? It has that problem where the shoulders don't always want to, like it pushes that over. And instead of just, of the one character that they should have this clamped down, like this isn't... I don't know. I, I'm if this was a character that I would really care about, I would get a uh, replacement cape for. Um, looking at this, I don't think I don't know if the Loki one comes with the backpack piece. Or if that's with um no, I think that came with, with, uh, with the new Captain America. Another white figure there. Another weirdly caped figure here. <laughs> I got all these in, in baggies so I don't lose their parts. Because most of these I'm not even going to keep. If I don't find a custom use for them by PowerCon, they are gone. Sell them there. Hmm. I don't have the Captain America in this bin. This is a little frustrating. Whatever. Just means I'll go hunting for it later. Get some of this bin. That's Dungeons and Dragons. Ninja Turtles. Um. more custom stuff in that one and there's some gi joes in that one yeah i'm not gonna worry about it these i'll uh once i get all of them i'll clip them all together and i'll do a video on that i suppose um let's get this away. 
So I did think that that was cool, the Captain America um, and Winter Soldier thing that they had. It really turned Falcon into that. That's, I mean, it happened in the comics after all. Would kind of like to see a Bucky cap at some point. Um, here's one of his hands with the lose a hand already. Jesus. All right, well, I'm assuming that he comes with two punch hands. Uh, the other one has gone completely AWOL. Well, hey, you know what? I had my these drawers were open. Some probably fell in there. I'm just going to have to watch this video and figure out where the other hand is. I'm pretty sure the other one. Oh, it's right back here. I see you. It got booted. It got booted way back here. Ooh. Hopefully soon. I'll have my new uh, little backdrop for this little studio kind of thing that I'm running here. So this kind of stuff won't happen as much. There. Jeez. Ridiculous. <clears throat> Ridicchio. So anyway, this really, as that's why I'm doing two in one video here. Uh, he, of course, has the same Marvel Legends. Um, articulation, Ooh, as usual. But I'm bringing this guy out just to show you how short he is. Or how tall he is, I guess. I don't know. Um, and this is the other thing that I got. So, Big Bad Toy Store about a month ago had a sale. And every time they do these sales, they make it where the stuff that's on sale, you can't add to your pile of loot, which is frustrating because I would rather just add it to my pile of loot, even if I have to ship it immediately. Like an add to cart and pile of loot thing is needed. Anyway, they had this figure um, that I got uh, on eBay for like nine bucks. <laughs> so I ended up finding this guy for four dollars with six dollars shipping so it was pretty much the same the reason that i was angry about the big bad toy store thing was that i went to go purchase this the next day it was still on sale but it was sold out so someone else got the last one so i was like well screw it i'm just gonna go online now there's a little bit of a story here and this is a little bit of a rant um i went on ebay and looked up one that had the packaging i don't care about the the build a figure parts i i have enough of those that aren't finished um, so I was like, sweet, I'll, uh, I'll grab this guy and he'll ship in the package. Nope. Came in a, a plastic, uh, bubble mailer. Luckily it wasn't broken. It's the only reason I'm not giving the guy uh, any flack for it, but I am going to leave that on the review. <laughs> like, uh, bro, you the, the picture showed the packaging. I assumed the packaging would come with it. Um, Yeah. Luckily, it is not broken. I, it is one of the older figures, so they don't usually have that problem. It's a few years old. Um, but I needed to get Nate Gray here. Uh, essentially young Cable, but from another universe, so he's not. I, I, it's, it's weird. Um, <laughs> anyway, I really have a, I have a subset of 90s characters. So mostly, most of my collection, I have the... Um, just a mishmash of just weird random characters. And these are, are one of three, two of three um, that are going into that pile. Um, the other one is Marrow whenever they make a Marrow. Because I need to have those three characters. They are the 90s X-Men for me. Like the n late 90s, 2000s X-Men. Um, not so much like the, the TV show ones, but this this is the during the Onslaught saga which might have even been early 2000s now that I think about it. No, I'm pretty sure it was like 97 or something. Because I'm pretty sure I was still in high school when that when that went down. Um, he, of course, does not stand well, because why would they include stands with anything? Um, what was this one? Oh, I got a Marvel Comics stand right here. That'll work. I make these and sell them. I used to sell them on Etsy. Um, I'm going to be putting them all up on my Patreon. I get, that's got to be a priority come up soon. Uh, so if you pay like a dollar or two a month, you'll get access to the files and you can print them out on your own. Um, 
I personally love these uh, two characters. They embody that time period. So aside from Miro, the only thing that I would want is an Onslaught, which was a Build-A-Figure, but I don't remember it being a great one. Um, so, and it probably costs way more than I'm willing to pay for an Onslaught figure these days. Um, so that's it. That is my, my, my lovely haul was, was this guy and, uh, at, for eight bucks and, uh, this guy for 10. And, uh, as I said, big bad toy store, stop that, stop that garbage. Just make it so that I can, once I pay the, it's like an immediate, you have to ship your loot, like. Just do that. Quit, quit messing with us on that. That is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, this rant. Uh, and until next time, I'm Alpha Magnus. These are toys.